Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm in the mood to make a go-kart, so let's get cracking. Friends, before we get started, I'm going to mention that I am on my website, hlmodtech.com. Friends, I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing lessons, and if you ever have questions or comments, there is a sweet built-in messaging button. You can click that button, add some information, and reach out to me almost instantly. I also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, if you click that invite link, you can almost instantly accept the invite and join the awesome Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, the first step, of course, is to hit Create New Design. Once once we're in there, friends, let's name it. I'm going to put Go Kart, and I'm going to put my initials MDH. Friends, I'm going to build this from an image. So right here is my idea for how to make my go-kart. You can see tube frame, seat, wheels, and steering. I'll come back and forth to this, but that's the idea of the project. Now my secret sauce for this little guy is to go down here and hit shape generators, and I'm going to build with the pipe. It takes a moment for him to load, but right there, that is the bent pipe under featured Friends, as you're looking for other pieces, don't forget you can find them under all. You can hit more shapes, and then also there is the brand new search. I'm going to just type pipe once again. Notice it shows up, and then notice I have checked this little star. That makes it a favorite, so from now on, I can always click on favorites and find the tools that I use most often. Now, when you build with a pipe, don't stretch it. It breaks the parameters if you do, so I'm just going to type my parameters. I want the outer pipe width to be 4. I am going to keep the arc diameter 30 degrees, the bend angle 90. I'm going to change the lead in and lead out so it looks like a rectangle. So this is going to be 10, and I'm going to make this 35 and press enter. You do have to wait a moment for it to settle in. I've actually got these the exact opposite of what I want, so I'm going to change this to 35, and I'm going to change this to 10 as I get used to which way is out and which way is in. So now we have one fourth of the frame of my go-kart. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to use flip to flip the second one this way. I want this end to connect. Friends, this is one of my favorite skills. I'm going to put the work plane on that end, click D, and it drops to the exact spot I want it to be. I'm going to click the work plane and touch the blue edge to put it back. I'm going to take those two. I'm going to make them a gray because that's the frame color I want, and I'm going to group them. Notice it takes a second for them to group, but now I have got the bottom frame. We are going to use two of those, so I'm going to do Control D. Once again, let's go back to Flip, and friends, this work plane tool is amazing. I'm going to set it on the end, and I'm going to hit D to drop, and then I'm going to grab those two, select them, two shapes, group, boom, weave, got a go-kart frame. Let's put the work plane back down on the ground, and let's use the same trick to make a bumper out front. We're going to bring out our tube. This time we're going to say size 2. I'm going to just use guess and check right here with 5 and 15 and press enter. And I want to put this up here. Let's see if it looks the way I want. That is going to be pretty cool. But instead of 15, I'm going to do 10. I'm going to make it a different gray just because I think that's going to make it look kind of cool. And if we do control D. I'm going to move over to this side, do the work plane, drop it right on there, and you can see I missed, so I'm just going to do it again. And now when I do D for drop, I've got the second one, and I'm going to mirror it the second time. Notice it still connects just dandy. Work plane back down on the ground, select the two of them. Now, friends, when I bring this over here, I can stand it up. Notice as I rotate, I look at it from a side. I'm staying inside the blue circle. And it's real easy to get it to that 90 degree spot. If I hit D to drop, it drops to the work plane. And then I can use my arrow keys to nudge it exactly where I want. I'm going to use control up to raise it up a little bit. It is a tiny bit too wide. So I am just going to use the black handle in the middle to shrink it and get it so it's exactly how I want it to be. So once you've got the style of it, you can just keep using it. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to bring this back to the back. I'm going to use arrow keys. If you use shift arrow keys, it goes 10 times as fast. I want this one to be even thinner, so I'm going to shrink it more. Notice I got a white handle and it wrecked it. I'm going to use control Z to undo, and let's look at it from the top. Make sure I got the black handle, so it just goes one direction, and I'm going to get it exactly the way I want. Control Z because I missed the black handle. 
Let's make sure we zoom in so we can grab that. And I'm going to raise it up so it looks just the way I want in the back as well. So friends, I could have made this with the normal pipe so that it stayed more round. But friends, right now I'm just having fun with this and getting you started on making your own ultimate go-kart. I'm going to select those three items and I do want to make sure they're aligned. I'm going to make the base frame the master and hit middle just like that. Real quickly, I want to add some tubes in the middle so that it's got more strength. We're going to do that back in the basic shapes. Bring out a cylinder. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to stretch it to crazyville. I'm going to type three in the box for how big I want the pipe to be. I'm going to make it totally round and I'm going to stretch it out to some sort of crazy length. Now I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I always like to find a corner so I can find the correct rotation. And then if you go on the outside, it's one degree at a time. So see how my arrow is past the circle? If I go inside the blue circle, it's so simple. It snaps 22 and a half degrees at a time and it's a lot more easy. D to drop gets it at the right height. I'm going to move it where I want it in my vehicle. I did guess and check and notice that lined up pretty darn sweet. Control D and I'm going to move one of these up here. That'll be where the seat. And then I'm going to do control D and rotate this 90 degrees. And I'm going to have it go along the frame this way. I'm going to use the black handle to stretch it out to the length I want. Do control D. I'm going to move those two across. And then to make sure these are aligned, I'm going to select these two. I'm going to hit group. And now because they're a group, I can hold shift and click on the outside frame. And when I hit align, if I make the gray one the boss, boom it is in the center all right everybody let's add a quick floorboard i'm just going to bring out a rectangle i'm going to bring it into the area i'm going to stretch it close to the size i want make it nice and thin i'm going to make it 1.5 and press enter i'm going to use control up to raise it up that way you can see that the pipe still exists but it has got something to sit on i think that's going to be pretty darn nifty if you want to make it a little bit rounded you can just having fun making it however I want. I'm going to bring in a seat and I'm gonna set it on top of that as well. Let's take that all the way to the back. Friends, I am gonna bring in a seat that I created in a code blocks lesson. I love this thing, it's super handy. In my system now I can type search. So I'm gonna say seat and when I press enter, boom, there is my code block seat. I can bring it out and drop it in my go-kart just like that. I want to make sure it's sitting on it, so I'm going to put the work plane here and hit D to drop. I think it needs to be a little bit smaller, so I'm going to do shift shrink to get it in place. Friends, you can make all kinds of engines on your own, but I'm going to put a silly one here. I have also made a jet engine, so I'm going to type engine or ENG, or I'm going to type jet. Let's see if that works. There is my jet engine. Friends, this is another fun code blocks lesson I've got where I've got a jet engine. Notice you do have to be patient waiting for these to launch, but I am gonna put dual turbines on the back of my cute little go-kart. Remember, shift nudge makes it move faster. I'm gonna take those two, I'm gonna group them. I'm gonna hold down shift and click on the frame. Click a line and bam, I have all of a sudden got a fun go-kart with jet engines. I'm also gonna align my seat I'm making that the master and that is pretty darn fun and silly at the same time all right so let's focus friends on what I'm trying to do I'm trying to give you ideas to make yours cooler than mine I'm giving you a start please go past this if you do make something awesome it would be super cool if you took time to share it with me right now I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna do control D I'm gonna move it back and I'm gonna give the frame right here a second spot I'll lift that up all right, everybody, let's quickly make gas pedals and brakes. I'm going to bring out a rectangle. I'm going to shrink it to Crazyville, and I'm going to type size 4 and press Enter. I want to make it taller, so I'm going to go to size 10, and then I'm going to make it thinner so it's like a pedal size. I'm going to set the radius to 2 and press Enter, and then I'm going to rotate it 22 and a half degrees. That looks like a gas pedal. I'm going to make it black. And I'm going to do control D so I have two of those. And then I'm going to take the two of them and group them. And let's drop them up on this work plane. Once we put the work plane here, if we hit D, it'll drop. And then I'm going to use that shift nudge to move it nice and quick to where I would want the pedals to be. 
All right, friends, we've got pedals. It's time to add a steering wheel. Check out this trick. We're going to use the new search. I want you to click search. I want you to switch to shape generators, and I want you to type wheel. When you press enter, you should see this blue wheel. What I'm going to tell you to do is switch to rim style six. Friends, this is important to do right at the beginning, but if you change this tire depth to five and press enter, notice that is more like a steering wheel depth. If we hold down shift and shrink this to say size 15, boom, it is the size of a cool steering wheel. And then you just need to make it skinnier. And I want mine to be black. And then of course we need to put it on a post. So we're going to go back to the cylinder, bring it out, hold down shift and stretch it to crazyville, type size three and press enter make it as tall as we want i'm going to go about 35 and then i need to put this on top of it so friends work plane on the top of that hit d to drop grab the two of them notice it says two shapes click a line make this one the boss and choose center and center and we have now got a steering wheel in place let's put the work plane back on the ground i'm going to make this a different gray I'm going to select the two of them and I'm going to group them. I want it to stay two colors, so I'm going to turn on multicolor just like that. And then I'm going to tilt it about 45 degrees and see how it looks inside my go kart. That's pretty darn cool. You can customize those degrees however you want. I'm going to do control down so it's sticking in. That's pretty darn awesome. Now, friends, you can make this as realistic as you want. I'm just getting you started. I'm going to finish this up by changing a few colors. I'm going to make this a custom blue. I want you to know that it's so easy to go out here and just tweak and adjust and find the exact colors you want and just have skills as you make yours more and more epic. The final part, of course, is to add wheels. I'm going to do that by switching to a five millimeter nudge and I'm going to do control up one, two, three. So that way it's up in the air. All right, everybody, let's add the wheels. Once again, we're going to use that sweet search. I'm in the community and I'm just going to type wheel. When you press enter, there are so many amazing options. I'm going to play with this with this all terrain wheel right here. When I hold down shift and shrink it, I think I want to go to size 30. That looks like it fits pretty nifty. We can get it close to our vehicle and we just do control D to add them on both sides. If I use shift nudge, I can get them forward to where I want. I'm going to grab those two and do control D shift nudge to the other side to get them where I want. Once I've got them exactly how I want, I'm going to switch back to the one millimeter nudge, get them nice and close. And then we'll real quickly add a cylinder underneath so they actually are connected. Once again, friends, you can spend a ton of time making this as accurate as you want. I was just excited about giving you a start. Let's quickly go back to our basic shapes, bring out that cylinder, stretch it to Crazyville. Let's make this one size four, make it longer, rotate it 90 degrees, and then put it in between the wheels. So I'm gonna go shift select to click on this one, choose a line, make the wheel the boss, and I want it to be the middle. Remember, these are so much easier to see if you get your head the right way. And then I want it to connect to this side right here. And then I also want it middle up and down. So you can see that's going right through the pole. Now I just need to nudge it across. Real quickly, let's hide this so we can see how far it made it. So that's pretty good on that side. I'm gonna just click on it and use a black handle to stretch it out to where I want on this side. That's pretty awesome. I'm gonna change the color to a gray. And I'm going to do control D and I'm going to move it back to the other ones. The easiest way to get these aligned friends is to shift select, choose a line, choose center. And that one already was centered. That's pretty fun. There we have quickly brought back the base and you can see my cute little go-kart. The thing I want to adjust right now is I'm going to actually raise these engines up above my head. So that way they're up here. I think that looks a little bit more cool. And I need to have something for them to set on. You can be as creative as you want. I am just gonna attach them with a wedge, just like this. Stretches across, they are connected. That is pretty fun and I think it might actually even work. 
super simple steps for you to make your own awesome go-kart. Friends, I want to remind you quickly, you can hide your grid by shutting this off so you can give people more clean view of your cool go-kart and hopefully you guys are excited about creating one that's even more cool than mine friends if you do make a version that's cooler than mine and want to share it with me don't forget it is so simple click this button right up here generate a link copy that link and then you can reach out and share it with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram gmail and tiktok and you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad if those options are not available, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. Friends, down at the bottom, I have the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. Of course, you can also reach out using the Tinkercad Community Discord. And then while you're out here, don't forget to check out the Designer Showcase. Friends, we have tons of amazing profiles where you can check out other users' creations. When you hit these buttons, friends, make sure you check out their amazing designs. And if you find one that you think is pretty interesting, click on it and give them a reaction for the awesome work they did. Aviuk, that is pretty darn sweet. And then below that, friends, we have the Tinkercad Design Nuclear Reactor. It's a place where you can submit designs and hopefully get tons of reactions yourself. This video explains it. And then, of course, friends, if you want a shout out of your amazing design, here is where you can request it. And there's a video tutorial if you need more instructions. Finally, friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this project and you've learned a lot of skills and made something awesome. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.